What's up, everybody? This is a Plus of Nature Spiritual Awakening. And today we will be discussing Mars in Partners First, House in Sinistry. Okay, so let's touch on Mars, and we're going to touch on the first house since they are attached and linked to each other. Mars rules over the first house, traditionally. Aries rules over the first house, traditionally. Okay, so with this placement, okay, it is going to be um, pretty much the same because it has the same things, all right? But just in general, okay, let's break down the Mars energy. Mars has to deal with sexuality, aggression, um, being a warrior, a soldier, a fighter, okay? Not backing down from situations, jumping on to opportunities, being direct, being blunt, okay? So Mars is a fighter. The first house has to deal with your identity, what you identify yourself to, how people perceive you, how you perceive yourself. Okay, so this has a lot to deal with the outside of an individual, not the inside. Okay, the way that you look, the way that you dress, okay, um, everything on the outside. So we're going to jump into to this to see exactly what this means when it shows up in a sinistry chart. Okay, so first of all, this is going to be an indicator of sexual attraction for one another. Okay, this is a very intense need for each other. A very intense need for each other. Both are very attracted to each other. So this relationship may be fast-paced and it can move very fast. The couple loves touching and feeling on each other. There may be a lot of surface aggression here. The two can get into a relationship as soon as they meet each other. Or the type of couple who moves in together after a couple of months. Okay, so already we know that these people are going to be sexually attracted to each other. They both like the way each other look. The way that they move. The way that they dress. Okay, um, it could be something very enticing or intriguing about the other person. And both people are feeling this, okay? Both people are feeling this connection. When they get to chilling and communicating and um, vibing with each other, um, they seem to want to build something together. And this is exactly why they can move in with each other very quickly, okay? Because they are so sexually drawn to the outside of the person. This is what makes them want to be in a relationship um, so that they can have sex all the time, touching and kissing all over each other, rubbing on each other, feeling on each other. The sex with this placement can be off the hook, okay? I mean, sex that'll just make you just quiver and shiver, okay? Make your toes curl and all of that kind of stuff can go on and take place. So let's say these people were kicking it for about two months, okay? Let's say that they was even just um, smashing and stuff. Maybe they were smashing on again, off again for quite some time. Then what happens is they start talking about moving in or wanting to live together, okay, or coming over more often. This is what happens. So the Mars person and the first house person look good together. So this is a type of couple where people see them and they say, hmm, they're a good match. I can see how they got together. This placement brings a dynamic and energizing influence to a relationship, particularly in how the people involved assert themselves and express their identities. Okay, so this sparks an immediate and powerful attraction for each other. The connection with um, wanting to be involved or wanting to take an adventure together can be present here. So the couple is inspired. Okay? They actually inspire others to embrace their personal power and confidence. So here there is a mutual encouragement for personal growth and assertiveness. Both partners are seen as sexy, appealing, and sensual people. So this is the kind of couple where people out in the world are looking at them like, you know what? Damn, he look good as hell. Damn, she look good as hell. Damn, you know, I'm going to holler at her. Okay, so a lot of people might be interested in 
the people that's involved in this relationship individually. Okay, you could be interested in the woman, you could be interested in the man that are in the relationship because they are so sexually attractive. So these two understand each other on a sexual level. Okay, which means that when they are making love and when they are having sex, they can have soulful sex. Okay, they know how to caress each other. They know how to go down on each other and, and make each other feel very, very good, very, very vibrant. Okay, shit. Some people with this can definitely feel like they feel um, some kind of sexual bond. Okay, because like I said, they, they know how to please each other on the sexual level. So they do have a sexual bond that's being presented to the table. So the house person is the one who had the burning desire towards the Mars person first. And usually, in some cases, at the first sight. So this is like you are chilling with your homegirls. Okay, and you see this guy. And he's walking by or whatever the case may be, Right? And you're looking at him like, damn, who is that? Who is that? I want to know who that is. Or I want to get to know him. Or maybe you're not even thinking about getting to know him, but you just find him so damn attractive. Okay, this is what could go on and take place. Mars partner. Okay, Mars and partner's first house often initiates a passionate, magnetic, and energetic connection between the two individuals. The Mars person may see the house person as bold, courageous, assertive, and full of life. Okay, so when you come across somebody that you see in this kind of way, in this kind of light, it can really have a strong pull towards you. This is a kind of relationship that if they did break up, they may still think about the sex. They may still think about the partner. Okay, um, yes, there can be power struggles in this relationship okay we're about to touch on that the first house person may feel invigorated and inspired by the mars partner drive and passion even though this placement is highly sexual there are challenges that surround this connection so mars assertive energy can sometimes clash with the first house person's sense of self and identity there can be a lot of control in this relationship, um, a lot of possessiveness, okay, um, or maybe even feeling like you need to dominate your partner, okay, because this is Mars and the first house, and Mars and partner's first house, this is going to butt the heads because like I said before, um, Mars is a fighter, a soldier, a warrior. And Mars doesn't back down from situations. Mars runs right into it. You see what I'm saying? So the Mars person may come across as too aggressive or dominating, triggering the first house person's need for independence. So it will be important for both people to learn how to respect each other's boundaries to avoid power struggles and conflicts. This placement is considered a powerful placement to have in synastry. A raw and fiery energy and having strong desires to be together is deep rooted in this relationship. So this is the type of relationship who wants each other for real. And if they can't be together, they wish they could be involved. Okay. This is why I said even if they was um, broken up, they can still have that burning desire for each other. Okay? May even listen to songs and things like that. And it can remind them of the person. Okay? Let's say that this is somebody that you're dating. And you're not in a full-blown committed relationship yet. Okay? You can be wishing or hoping or damn. Like, you know what I'm saying? Feeling like that. So things that can tear down this connection. Okay, will be impulsiveness and confrontations, going back and forth, arguing and bickering. Um, in some cases, it may even be hands-on activity where people are putting their hands on each other. The urge to take immediate action and express one's desire can sometimes override rational thinking, leading to hasty decisions and conflicts. So now both people involved 
are constantly stimulated and motivated by each other. Okay, so we know it's positive and negative, but they have the ability to motivate each other in positive ways or negative ways. So this placement also creates a strong bond between these two on a physical and emotional level. The Mars person's assertiveness and dynamic energy can also inspire the first house person to take action and pursue their goals, their dreams, and ambitions. Okay, so I believe this on this note for now and in future videos to come, I will go more into depth into Mars in the partner's first house in Sinistry. If anybody wants to get a reading, please hit me up. Okay, I do have the Leo Square sale still going on where you can get your reading for $175 if you qualify for the sale. Um, the regular price for the readings, if you don't qualify for the sale, is $250. Please keep in mind the Leo Square sale is ending in two days. Okay, and the prices will be going up to $369. Birth charts will be $369. Any chart that you're looking for will be $369. I will be having a sale. And just to let you know, I will post that video. But anybody that's watching this one today, um, with the Virgo Squid sale, um, if you qualify for that sale, the reading of your choice will be $269. Okay, $269. So, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell every single time. Um, share, share the video. I appreciate each and every one of you. Also, anybody want to donate to the channel, please feel free. My phone number is 516-738-6042. So, this is A Force of Nature. Spiritual awakening. Love is love. Peace and blessings to you all. And I will see you on the next one.